Hey guys, it's Janicia and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because I have a lot of videos to help and encourage you to move from fear to faith. And in this video, I really want to go over the reasons why God calls you to take a leap of faith. And if you're not familiar with me, my channel, or my story, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis of like the things that God has done in the ways that he has called me to take a leap of faith. So when I was 25 years old, I was living in Florida and I just heard God tell me to move to Los Angeles. I was scared of my mind. I didn't have no money. I didn't have a job and I didn't know anybody out there. So literally within a month, I packed up my car and I drove to LA by myself and stayed there for two years until I felt God call me again to Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, both of those moves were completely crazy, completely different, and um, I believe God called me to those areas, those two different areas for different reasons. And so I kind of want to go over that with you. Maybe some of these are resonating with you. Maybe you feel like God is calling you to move and you're just wondering like, why can't what God wants to do in my life, why can't he do it here? I'm not just talking about a move. Um, God has called me to quit my jobs um, before when I was working in corporate America at a financial institution. Um, God has called me to basically go on trips, international trips, when I had like $100 in my bank account and the trip called for $30. $3,500. Like a lot of things have happened in my life and I have really wrestled with faith. I have done this over and over where I'm like, God, this makes no sense. Why are you doing this? And I went and I'm able to tell the story now. One of the reasons why God may call you to take a leap of faith is that whatever he wants to bless you with is in that location. Now, speaking specifically for either you're moving or if you're, let's say a job and you want to be blessed, you want a, a raise, um, anything, a door can open for you in another job, but you're stuck on staying in the location that you're in. So maybe you're comfortable, maybe you've been working up the food chain in your company, but God is saying, leave it and go to another place. Now, if God is telling you go to another place and it's a pay, you know, like a downgrade from what you're getting, that can be a little scary. And it can be like, um, did I hear you right, God? Yes, you, you've heard God right. And sometimes God may be calling you to move to another city. I have helped a lot of different women um, get the faith to move. And I don't, I can't even explain how many times they have met their spouse they have found a dream a dream job they have met someone that has been very influential in their life they have just felt this like new sense of peace and not it's not always like a physical blessing sometimes it's like an internal blessing um i remember when i moved to la i really got to know myself because i've never been on my own per se and I never had to fend for myself. I have videos from when I moved there about the struggle that I went through when I uh, moved there. But I really had to go through it. It was just literally me and God. Like I got to know God on a whole nother level but because before he was like a God of convenience, a God of, I love you and you know, we're having a great time together. But when you have to like, God, I don't know how I'm gonna eat today. Like your relationship with him is taken to a whole nother level. And so I learned a lot about myself. I met a lot of people. I had a lot of opportunities open it up for me. I learned that I can turn my skills into something tangible and make money from them. Um, I learned a lot about myself. And so God may be calling you to move or do something else or go to another job or do something because he has something for you there. And wherever you are, you're not gonna learn that lesson. You're not gonna meet that person. You're not gonna have the right opportunity because sometimes blessings can be geographical. Blessings can be time specific and geographical. 
So if there is a place that God wants you to move, like Abraham, when he called him to go to a place that God would show him, God could have blessed him wherever he was, but God had a blessing for him in that location. And so God has a blessing for you and it may be location specific and it may be time specific. You need to do this at this time. I have something lined up for you there. We always think that we can like, you know, drag our feet and that the blessing is still going to be there. Sometimes it may not. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to pop in real quick and share something exciting that I have coming up. I get so many questions about the major leaps of faith that I took when I moved to Los Angeles and when I moved to Charlotte, North Carolina. And so I just decided to do a little masterclass for the ladies on the five signs that God is calling you to take a leap of faith. So if you're interested in this training, I will leave the link down below in the description. Another reason that God may be calling you to take a leap of faith is because you're a faith leader. And I remember the second day that I was in LA, I went to a church, which is was my church that I ended up joining. And the pastor came up to me after and was kind of like prophesying over me. It was like, I'm a faith giant. And I didn't understand what that meant until now, until I have coached and helped so many different women get the faith to do what God is calling to do. God may be using you as an example to give someone else godly curiosity and just inspire them to take a leap of faith, to go after their dreams. When people say, who is your influence? Usually their influence is someone who's doing something similar to what they want to do or they admire a character trait um, or accomplishment that that person did. So you can be someone else's influence. When I took a leap of faith, you don't know how many people wrote me, or people in my family or friends and say, you inspire me, you have helped me. The reason I did this is because of you. And I didn't know anybody else that did it. When I left Florida, I didn't know too many other people who had left Florida. I don't know really too many people who left the country, but to leave the state, the city, is kind of radical and crazy and like, ooh. And of course I got a lot of side eyes and kind of like, oh. Or I don't know what you're doing. But after I was there for a while, and it was kind of like, oh, she moved and she didn't die. <laughs> like It was like, maybe I can do it too. Like I gave a lot of people courage and I learned a lot of things which I can then reciprocate and help someone else through. So sometimes your move partially is for you, partially is what God wants to do in your life, but also what he wants to do in someone else's life by looking at your life. Another reason that God may call you to move also has to deal with other people. When I moved to Charlotte, I felt like I moved to Charlotte for other people. I feel like I moved for my family. I don't know how many times a situation has come up and because I work from home, because I'm here, because I'm the type of person that I am, I'm a nice shoulder to cry on and someone to help in a time of need. I believe that a lot of the reasons why I move here was for other people. And sometimes that is, it's not enough for us. We're like, God, where's my, this is my purpose. God is calling me to do this for my calling. But sometimes we don't think about your calling and your purpose is aligned or connected or parallel or perpendicular to someone else's. We think it's all about us, us, us. God may be calling you to move or you to go here for someone else. God may be calling you to um, go to this job because of a person there that you will help and minister to. God may be calling you to move to this city because there are people there that need you. So it's not always about you. God is using you for other people. And that's how he does things. He does things through us. So don't clog the faucet because you don't want to move because you don't think that it's all about you. It's about some of you and some of other people and all about God. <laughs> Another reason that God calls us to move is to stir us up. I think a dangerous thing in the life of a believer is to get comfortable. When we're comfortable, we don't do anything outside of the norm, outside of the box. We have a daily routine and nothing will break it up. And sometimes we need something to be like, yo, 
you're not on fire like you used to be. You're not searching for anything like you used to be. You don't even notice that you have a problem anymore because you you is normal or you're around people where this is normal. And sometimes God got to shake up your friend group. God got to shake up your mindset. He has to shake up your beliefs. He got to shake up those idols that you have. Maybe you have an idol about money. Maybe you have an idol about, or you have security in your, um, your household. You have security in your relationships. You have security in something else besides God. And so he will sometimes come in to shake up those idols and say, okay, You've been dependent on this for that long. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need you to come away from it and I'm going to need you to depend on me. That's what happened in my trip to LA. I was shaken up and I learned that it's me and God. Other people as well, but my source is God. Another reason why God may call you to move is wherever you're in, you're stagnant or there's a distraction. Maybe you're around people who are not beneficial to you. Maybe there are people or situations where they're draining you, they're toxic, and you're starting to look more like them than them like you. And God may need to yank you out get you together and maybe even put you back or just change the context, change the scenery, change the location, change whatever. Don't be surprised when God is telling you to change and take a leap of faith. Now, some of those reasons may not feel like a valid reason to take a leap of faith. Like, okay, so if I'm moving, I better hope my husband is there, you know? So if I'm going to a new job, that must mean I'm getting a $10,000 raise in my salary. It may not be those reasons. It may not be tangible. It may not be something that you find attractive as far as an attractive blessing or open door. It just may be something that God is calling you to and for the progression of your life, for the progression of getting where God wants you to be and just simply following God, this leap of faith is necessary. I really encourage you not to be stagnant, not to have delayed disobedience or outright disobedience. If you feel like God is on you, if you feel like God is calling you to do something, do it. All right, guys, I really hope that video was helpful. And if it was, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Join the family and stay tuned because I have a lot more videos to really encourage you and help you move from fear to faith. I'll see you later. Bye.